So how bad is artificial intelligence or AI kind of infiltrate society and affect the culture? Well, here's a couple indications. Again, we're still early in the AI revolution. And here's a good example. First of all, AI is coming for the influencers. Well, you might not care because you might not be an influencer and you might think they're ridiculous, but they're actually using AI to create influencer videos. You don't even need to have a person. And AI will have algorithms that will know what to say, how to say it, uh, what to present to get clicks, what to present to get the highest views on videos and promote products or services that maybe people aren't agreeing with. Is it gonna affect other businesses? Yes, massive layoffs coming in 2024. Artificial intelligence is going to take over many, many more jobs, even if it doesn't take over the whole job if AI can do a fifth of maybe seven or eight different jobs to make them easier, a company can downsize their staff to have less people. That means you're going to deal more with chat bots when you call for customer service. You're not going to be able to reach an actual human. You're not going to be able to uh, talk to people. And if you're an employee, you're going to have to deal with AI in your everyday workflow. You may not be able to get um, contact with your supervisors or direct reports. What about your vehicle? Well, here's the big one. Your car is gonna have AI built into it to watch you drive to see if you are driving safely. Smart cars have a method to have cameras, to have monitors on the steering wheel, on the gas pedal, on the brakes, to see if they think you're driving correctly. And if you're not, the first thing they say they're gonna do is maybe give you notifications, maybe tell you you should take a break, or at some point it might even shut off the car. What does it do? As you drive down the road, it's watching you with cameras and monitoring the cabin, track where you're looking, track your speed, lane position, rate of acceleration, right? Some car makers are starting to incorporate things like unlocking your car and scanning your face and fingerprint. It may transmit this data to the manufacturer's data center. So su supposedly improve your driving experience. I know you have an opinion about this. Let us know in the comments. So what else can this information do? It can reveal your identity, your habits when you're in your car, how safely you drive, where you've been with GPS, and where you regularly go. This can all be consolidated with other data to maybe do advertising, to maybe do insurance rates, to maybe do court cases. If you're sued, they might be able to collect this information. And the sensors in the vehicle are diabolical. There are cameras. They're connecting to your phone through Bluetooth. They're showing your speed and acceleration of the vehicle, who you're in proximity to. So if any of these AI features seem like they're concerning to you, let us know in the comments and what the world might look like in a couple years.